Hello everyone and welcome to the Captain's Academy where today we will go over your upgrade options for the Phoenix Starworks Minotaur Assault Transport. The Minotaur is a military conversion of the Taurus Light Transport and while not a built from the ground up battleship, the Minotaur can see function in a late game setting if used in the right hands. Some of the changes from the Taurus to the Minotaur are a full conversion of plastic to steel, which will encompass the whole body. Um, the cockpit and hangar areas have been reinforced, plus the devices such as the warp and shield have seen reinforcement around them, up to and including combat steel. Additional blocks have been placed in the front of the cockpit area to beef up the armor profile. So these are all combat steel. The hangar entry being reinforced is now a sandwich of two hangers and a layer of glass doors. Some of the profile changes have been just the cell has extended to allow for additional turret and thruster placement. Uh, this profile has been raised to allow for additional turret placement and some other bits and bobs have been adjusted to allow for additional turrets, including the tail here, additional mounting on the bottom. This intake has been extended forward to allow for an additional placement here, and also there is an add-on here for yet another turret placement. So let's go over some of the upgrade paths here. First, let's start with the color change. Going forward with the tradition of my builds, I suppose I'll offer two color transformations since that seems to be successful with the Sarissa. So again here, just come to the quarters if you want to look at getting an additional color change. So for example, we could go for purple, gray, charcoal, white configuration, which is the Default coloration for Phoenix Starworks. So we'll just have to go ahead and copy that. Get a paint gun out for that. Figure. Voila, there we go. So now we're closer to something that is the original setting of the Taurus Light Transport. The original color is set here if you want to revert that. There you go. So some of the options include uh, changes to the cargo configuration. Now, uh, the harvest was cannibalized a bit to increase the ammunition. And while the ammunition is not a full 20, you do have the option to expand that if you choose to. This is your ammo line. So if you go to the starboard auxiliary room, if you want to expand that, if for some reason you don't have need for these, you can build on this here. Now, being that the uh, harvest was cannibalized to an extent, uh, you still do have options to expand from that, so if you wanted to, you could uh, load up some extensions and just build from here. If you wanted to operate the Minotaur in some sort of mining capacity, that option will be there. Another thing that's changed is spacing has been added to allow for advanced generators. So this should be sufficient for powering any of your upgrades or add-ons. So we have one placed in here, and there's a slot for an additional one. Also, just as with the Taurus Light Transport, you do have still these uh, potential placements for generators. 
if you're done stretching out any shielding. Okay, so let's go over the upgrade paths, starting with our weaponry. So what we're looking for here is, much like with the Taurus Light Transport, we're looking for markings to discern where our upgrade route is. So between these two dashes, this one here and this one, this is going to be our weapon mounting line. So again, like with the Taurus Light Transport, you want to delete back to get to the X, and that will be a placement. So on and so forth. So again, you have options here with uh, removing the antenna and placing the weaponry there. So, so that would complete your profile there. Uh, you could mount here if you wanted to, if you didn't want to use a turret placement. So something to this effect here. If you want to maintain some sort of profile that is consistent with the rest of the aesthetic. I guess we go with something like that. Now, if you'd rather use that particular area for turrets, which is what it's designated for, then just make sure you continue to remove all of these blocks here. There you go. There's a turret at them. There's also one open one underneath the ship, so there's no removal needed for that. That's an easy get. We also have one here on the top. And for rear defense, if you want to get rid of this aesthetic value here, this will open up a turret placement for you. Easy peasy. Now moving on to thrusters, we have a number of options ranging from mediums to larges and all the way up to advanced. So one of our obvious tells that we're going to look for is the vent deco. Also for the tail section, this is going to be a guide as well. These are optional, as well as this bit here. So those are the things we want to look for. So quite a few options. So let's go look and see what we got there. Here you can go mediums or uh, larges for reforging players. Granted, that will stick out a little bit. So if you wanted to maintain some sort of aesthetic value, then Let's switch down to some mediums. Here you can go mediums or larges. Now here we don't have a guide for this bottom bit, but clearly your breakpoint is going to be the thruster. For the bottom, if we feel we need more lift thrust, this should house a good number of mediums. Oops, I don't want to do that. Now, with the forward section, we can upgrade these to the largest if we choose to. So, we're just going to get rid of those thin blocks. We 
also have option for a large here. And here we have a pair of larges. So be one block too many. Here we can go for mediums or larges. It's rather uh, unwelcoming, so my personal preference would be mediums. It's uh, more palatable there. Okay, so for the reverse thrust, you have option for advance. You're not going to have a marker here on this left side. That's going to be your break point once you see that thruster. If you're deleting on one line, so just make sure not to overshoot. Okay, so that's that. Now you have a couple options with the tail section. Put up for more strafe or more lift. So let's look at that. So here you could go with mediums, or if you wanted to, you can just remove these thins, and that would be addition largest for you. Right. So for strafe with the tail section, if we want to keep that configuration in the rear with the large lift, then what we can do is slot in some mediums. Or if you want to consume the larges, you can opt to move up to the fans for additional strain thrust. So this would look uh, something like this. Hooks that a little bit. Could do some block development there to make that flow better. Okay, so that should cover the thrusters. Now for CPU, for reforged lead, what we're looking at is for spawn in at core 8, we have about a 300,000 surplus. Now with vanilla, that's going to be uh, 2.5 out of 10 million. So what we want to do if we're reforging is we want to place our CPU in this slot here, and then that's going to open up space for six additional auxiliary if we want to pursue that path. All the while this is going on, we want to make sure to upgrade your generator. So what you could do is slot in on this empty side here. Now we have an advance. Now we have a number of options to continue this. So we could choose to use these settings here to throw in some large generators or any number of configuration with a mix of generators and shields. If we want to prefer to go heavy on the large generators, then what we can do is place some of the shields here to open up some of this space. So let's take a look and see what we've got. Again, as with the source like transport, you know, your expansion is going to be these thin blocks. You can get rid of these. Okay. 
we could save this for a, a general replacement right there, since that's an odd number. Same thing continuing on the other side if you want to add the shields. Uh, you do also have this line here to open up. So this could be two shields or a generator and one other block open up if you need to do that. Now for the auxiliary rooms, this is going to allow placement for the medium sized shields for reforge and eating. So, potentially, you can place a pair of them. There you go, two of each. Now again, you do have options if you're content with your current shield level. Let's say you're in a situation where you have a bastion or a region shield, which provides a big value already. And you want to drop some of these to preserve some of your weight, keep it low. So what you could do is just throw on the ammo you can expand that because as it is ammo is kind of light for the reforge eden now with vanilla it's going to be a full 320 but for reforge eden you're looking at 250,000 ammo so you're going to have to hot load that ammo base so you'd want to store some of your excess ammo in some of the other containers and as it gets slow just feed it in but that should bump you up to 320 if you want to go that route now, same thing over here. If you're fine with your shield configuration and you want to open up this space, then you can go ahead and expand your harvest. So that might be a scenario where you really don't need to expand on your shield levels if you're doing some sort of like a trunk space um, mining or something to that effect. So then this would move up your harvest level. And once that fills up, you can just feed that somewhere else. Uh, one of the uh, side effects of having to expand the area for the generators is that you lose some of the capacity to the constructor layout. So, unfortunately, this is what you have so far. You have spacing for one advanced and uh, one small. But, again, if you want to use some of the space here, that's an option. Okay, everyone, that concludes this episode of the Captain's Academy, the Minotaur Assault Transport. If you'd like to stay informed about this build and many others to come, please make sure to subscribe and also like, as this helps the channel grow. Also, if you enjoy my content, please consider joining my Patreon, as your gratitude goes a long way to instilling passion into my endeavors. Link in the pinned comment below. Thank you. Life Force out.